stuff in here. Yeah, so I think I'll be... Yeah, it's really interesting to see what you can find underneath. A lot of times I notice that I can't put in like my shears and everything when there's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, just let me know if it hurts, okay? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't, but... It just feels awkward for some people when I dig in here. Get out. There. What happened to this tie? It's there. I don't know what happened to it. Something must have happened to it. It's, uh, I think it's only this one that's sort of loosey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hold it from the bottom. I can scrape up the top. Mm -hmm. Now I have enough room. There we go. There we go. It's going to feel a lot better when there's a lot less pressure on it. Don't worry. <clears throat> Chunk out here. Now. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Wow. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh wow. There we go. Yeah, it's a little sensitive in it. There's a lot of debris here, and that's causing a lot of pressure on it. It's also there. We go. Did you guys get up too much this week? Mm -hmm. Did you guys do much this week? A lot. Yes. Very quiet, uh, walking the dog is a bad dog, but we uh, What dog do you have? Uh, Corgi. Corgi? Oh, I love Corgis. Uh, we went down to Sumner Beach the other day and walked up down mm. there. That's nice. You hadn't seen one for a long time. Yeah, Corgis. Oh, I love Corgis. I used to have a dog a long time ago. Uh, that is um, a Golden Retriever. Her name was Annie. And we've had corgis all my life, just about from mm -hmm. uh, all really? our married life. We've had about five or, five or six corgis, I think. They, they must be on about mm -hmm. number five or number six. <laughs> the six. Let me see if he's stuck in here. Yeah. A very good breeder, just uh, up on not far away from the last year. <laughs> and, uh, pretty good at it, but I'm not sure what's going to happen because they're, sort of, they're not going to be allowed to cut the tails off them. Anymore. Oh, oh, well, I'm alright. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> That's good. Well, uh, it's sad that a dog has to lose its tail, though, right? Mm. Yeah, it seems to be, I suppose, that it's. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know why they started to take the tails off, but you see the long haired corgi, mm. that still keeps the tail on. Mm. My dog, well actually my dog's pretty, she was pretty good back then, she didn't even need much help. Um, oh, she always loved to chase around like other cats <laughs> and uh, occasionally chase around her own tail, occasionally. <laughs> uh, well, most of the ones that nowadays they don't, or well, up until now, they don't cut, they cut all the top of the tail off. Mm. In fact, uh, well, we saw a whole lot the other day that there was some people had taken other, other times. Well, I don't know, I mean, uh, 
the uh, but uh, as far as I can see that there's no need to, 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 to cut the tails off but I think if, if the tails were a bit long and they um, jobs that they were doing which <coughs> was being uh, chasing cattle and of course as first the tail may have just gotten in the mud all the time. Mm, sure. I guess it's a good management then. Um, what's the name of the dog? Our dog is called Letty. 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 Yeah. Yes. Female then? Or the correct one name was what was no, well, that was she was christened in the, in the <laughs> when she was born in the uh, place where she in a place that breeds them. Okay. And the breeder called her Pikelet. Pikelet. Sorry. 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 I lost it's her. sensitive here. I know. I didn't want to go and scream round about uh, in the parks screaming for my dog called Pikelet. <coughs> but I thought I was a bit, bit potty. <laughs> so we changed the name to Letty. Sounds more sensible than Pikelet. Pikelet's a pretty cool name. Mm -hmm. Well, Pikelet's something you eat. Mm -hmm. A Pikelet? <laughs> What's a Pikelet? It's a, like a little, uh, it's like a little uh, sandwich, it's not a sandwich, it's more like a uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, uh, a little sort of bun, more like a, it's like a soft little sausage, not a, it's a little flat thing that you, you can put, you, know, you put your uh, stuff on there as well. You mm. Will it grow? Eat. It will grow. Will it grow? Oh, your nails will still grow, don't worry. Yes, but that one's meant to be a, a dead one, you know, one of those. Thing is, if it's dead, then de you rather take out the dead nail, right? I mean, if it's yes, dead, I, yes, if you keep it, it, it's just going to cause more problems. Yes, oh, yes no, we were just waiting for it. Yeah. Come Something that's dead, you keep it there, I mean, things will get wrong. Things will go wrong. Mm -hmm. It gets dirty and like, um, yes, it is probably dirty. <laughs> you probably don't want something dead on it. I mean, it was, uh, it was catching on to a lot of things. So that's why I have to cut it out like this. Some people find it really ticklish. Mm. There we go. Let me show these man. Yeah, in my opinion, cleanness is beauty. You rather be like you rather have a clean toe mm -hmm. than the dirty one that's still there. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yeah.